It is time for reading, guys. There's a reason why I'm sitting next to a bookcase because reading is important and amazing and I will vouch for it even though not as many people watch it on Geek Bomb. But please do because reading's cool. Hi, I am Maud Garrett, joined by Trisha. Yeah, I called it out. No one cares about reading, but I, I will not. I love that you just called it out and you were like, see all these books because reading's important. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I also think reading's important even though I have no books around me where are the books uh but it is time for reading and getting recommendations in for what you can be reading could be reading should be reading would be reading and to help us out this particular week we have emma fife on board she is a host and streamer extraordinaire and she has something pretty cool to talk about i do so uh as many people who are in my twitch community will tell you i was playing witcher 3 and then i stopped because i got distracted and started playing persona 5 royal but i am still on board with witcher because i'm currently reading the last witch which is the first of the witcher novels okay so the numbering of the witcher books is confusing as all get out so mm -hmm. good luck there are two books of short stories that come before book one of The Witcher. So book one of The Witcher is Blood of Elves. I actually read that one first. Oh. Fortunately, I had already seen the Netflix series, so I wasn't totally lost. But then I went, you know what? I think I need to go back and reread all these short stories. Uh, so yes, The Last Wish is the first one. Uh, and then the second one is Sort of Destiny. Sort of Destiny is actually the first one that was written, but chronologically you should read Last Wish, then Sort of Destiny, and then start in on the series. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't; these aren't like just side stories that you can skip. Like you need some context that you get in these stories. Uh, yeah, I uh, am really enjoying The Last Wish. The Last Wish has been really fun too because there are a lot of stories in it that were made into episodes of the Netflix TV show. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really interesting to see the stuff that they changed. Um, and I, I can't entirely take credit for this myself. Uh, I have to give credit to um, uh, to Riley uh, for this because basically like um, she had said that uh, I, uh, Riley Silverman, that is, I should probably specify, there are many people named Riley, but again, uh, my it's the end of the day, it's Friday, my brain has just gone, woo, done. Yeah. We don't remember any names or anything, but, um, it, she had said that when she read The Last Wish that she didn't quite get watching the series how many of the stories were fairy tales. Um, mm -hmm. And reading The Last Wish, I have, I've had the exact same experience where I'm like reading Renfrey's story and going, oh yeah, it is Snow White. Mm -hmm. But it's not um, obvious at all. And then like, there's some of them which is like, it's a tale about a beast where they want yeah! to- Yeah, oh my God. Play. Yeah, I'm a little sad, actually, that they didn't do the Beauty and the Beast story in the TV show, because yeah. I, I liked that story. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Maybe next season. Um, something, oh, is it? Is it in the I mean, they, they, could, they could potentially flash back to it, but it would have happened long before where the timelines converged in the Netflix series. And again, like, all of this additional Witcher ring that I have been doing is all inspired by the fact that I loved the Netflix series so much. Like Witcher had always been on my radar. I had just never played it for whatever reason. Um, I'd heard good things about it. And then I watched the Netflix series and I absolutely fell in love. Uh, and so I was like, I gotta, I gotta get all the Witcher I can get. So are you show game book? Uh, I'm show starting the books game back to the books <laughs> so like okay. book game simultaneous yeah book game simultaneous i would say what, yeah. are you, what are you trish i am game book show oh okay i'm game show book oh <laughs> but um so this is this i was so excited that this was the book you wanted to talk about today emma because we and We're i have Yay! different opinions <laughs> on this book uh, and yeah, we yes. have different Did opinions on this book. And uh, Emma, are you listening to the audiobook or are you reading the book? I am reading the book. Okay. I listened to it and I didn't like the narrator. He uh... wasn't so good he was didn't have a consistency in the levels he didn't have a consistency with his speed it was all over the place and i have to listen to it on 1.3 because that's that's i listen to it on 1.3 and it, this is an example of what i have and then Geralt went over to the and he went over the mountain and then when he went over the mountain and Geralt was like listen here that's not what i'm about and then i'm going to go and i was just like 
what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I have to <laughs> twice to understand anything. <laughs> CP Falcon said weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I, I will tell you, I also listened to the audiobook and loved it. <laughs> so anytime we talk oh, about no. this book, Mod's like, it's the worst. And I'm like, it's the best. Oh, I did think so when when the story was happening and all of a sudden I can be like, oh my gosh, I know what episode in the show we're talking about. And then yes. kind of like being able to visualize it in that capacity made me enjoy it a little bit more. But just his, the way he narrated was just face palm. But I, yeah. I think the whole way to get around this is to just read it. Yeah, I and that's what I'm doing. I'm just reading it. Uh, yeah. And I, yeah, I've been... I, I've enjoyed it so far. I'm uh, a little, little, little over halfway through, so I'll finish it pretty quickly here because the books aren't very long. Um, but yeah, I, I fully, fully intend to stay on board and just go for the long haul. Uh, so I'll read sort of Destiny next, and then I can skip Blood of Elves because I already read it. <laughs> That's so funny. See, and now I have read uh, The Last Wish or listened to read The Last Wish and Sort mm -hmm. of Destiny, but I haven't gotten into the main trilogy yet. Ah, uh, there you go. Because there you go. I listen to books when I'm driving, and I haven't had to drive anywhere since. Oh March. my god, that's me with podcasts. I'm like, I well now I'm listening to podcasts again because I am commuting. But mm -hmm. for like the first two months of quarantine, I didn't listen to a single podcast. Yeah. yeah, it's weird how like life you have to sort of adapt, and then you realize what kind of like works together. So if you're not driving, you are not also yeah doing those particular things. I'm the same. I had to walk my dog for an hour a day to listen to my book yeah yeah i mean yeah. Like, uh, zelda's <laughs> loving it though she, yeah she's still a chunky pork pie though i don't know how oh. I, feel, I feel like i i show her my love through food and she's just she's a very good manipulator when it comes to it if i have food she like gets off the couch and sits and stares like locks down mm. stairs. and i'm like yes you can have some of my pizza <laughs> I love her. If I sit oh, there and stare at you that. lovingly, Mod, can I have some of your pizza? Oh my god, yes. Is it good? <laughs> Show me what you got. Show me what you got. See if you're better than Zelda. Uh, I don't put that on me to be better than Zelda. <laughs> that's, whoa, that's a that's I will a lot give of you my mm, okay, yeah, give yeah. me your pizza I, face, but I will not of... try to compete with the awesomeness that is Zelda. Where is she? Where is my dog? <whistles> so <laughs> well, while we're waiting for Zelda to make a cameo today, let's go ahead and bring in Amy for Bombs Away Q and A. Hi, Amy. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. So this question is from our Patreon Twitch viewers. Get yours in, please. So this one's from Nathan Swap. What is the biggest trigger to nostalgia for your specific childhood? For example, for him, it was the sounds and smells of Diesel. Uh, reminds him of summer trips with his oh, dad. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, when I was a kid, I loved this. <laughs> I wouldn't sound like I'm like a weird, like low level drug addict. I'm like, I love the smell of gasoline. <laughs> I do too, though. I hear you. And that marker pens. You like yeah, them? I did. I loved the smell of gasoline when I was a kid because I think for me, that like especially takes me to like sitting in the back of the car uh, on my way to go on vacation to the beach in Maine, which we did every summer when I was little. So yeah, that that is one of them. Not a pleasant one, but you know, the smell of formaldehyde takes me <laughs> right back to seventh grade science, dissecting ah! frogs. Oh, I would not do that. I'd rather say. <laughs> well, we already know how you feel about toads. So frogs are toad adjacent. Oh, but, fro yeah, frog adjacent. <laughs> yeah, it's too close. <laughs> Well, the smell yeah. of gasoline reminds me of my dad because my dad, before he retired, was a mechanic for years oh, and yeah. years and years. So when he came home every day before he changed out of his uniform, that's what my dad smelled like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I liked going places in the car with my parents. So I think that's why um, I think that's why I like feel like nostalgic feels about the smell of gasoline but it has to be like somebody else putting gasoline in the car like if i'm doing it myself it doesn't have the same trigger but if i'm like sitting in the back of somebody else's car like it, it is it's like that nice feeling of oh we're cool we're going somewhere <laughs> oh trip mine's jasmine the, the jasmine oh yeah. jasmine's a beautiful smell what's it remind you of 
Um, the the house that my mum grew up in stayed in the family, and we would visit it around Christmas time every year. But it was like a seven and a half hour drive away. But when we got there, they had this magical garden out the back, like full of lush uh, trees and plants and flowers. But jasmine would wrap around sort of like the fence and the big trees. And that smell, <laughs> Mooney Mika, jasmine makes me sick. <laughs> oh. uh, it's got a very, like, um, for me, a very floral but beautiful aroma. And it will take mm-hmm. back to like, a, a, the childhood memory. Great question, though. Mm. That is a good question. Do we have one from Twitch? We do. This one's from That Nerd. Oh. Is anyone going to listen to the Sandman audiobook? It is a highlighted question. Uh, first of all, thank you for the highlighted question in chat using those dragon scales. Um, yeah. But uh, I have it wish listed. Yeah. yeah. If not already bought it, I'm not sure, but I've got big plans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> big plans to listen to that Sandman audiobook. Maud is confident it will not be as bad as The Last Wish. <laughs> the team really came back together at the last quarter there. And I think that, yeah, if we really dedicate our minds to it, yeah, I will press record and play on that one. Yes. Who's, who's yeah. the narrator, Maud? I think it's like a full ensemble cast, which is why I was excited about oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they got like big names in, like uh, James McAvoy. Um, I'm wow. pretty sure. I, yeah. yeah, I think you're right, Maude. I Because yeah. I remember hearing about this uh, audio book cast. Yep. Yep. It's Riz Ahmed, Kat Dennings, Taryn Edgerton, Neil Gaiman, James McAvoy, Samantha Morton, Bibi mm, Newworth, Andy Serkis. Oh, yeah, Bibi Newworth. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to listen to this. Also, like, can we talk about how, like, lovely um, Taron Edgerton was in that Dark Crystal series <laughs> as the main oh, guy? Awesome. You didn't watch Dark Crystal? What? Oh, it was really good. It's really good. Yeah. I, I mean, wasn't a Dark Crystal. I, I think I tried to watch it because I loved Labyrinth, but I was about seven or eight, and I was, like, obsessed with Labyrinth. And then I did Dark Crystal, and it was too much of a jump, too early. I watched Dark Crystal first, um, and it was my favorite movie when I was about <laughs> three. I'm laughing because my tiny human's three, and he would not be down <laughs> with the It looks yelly. I was scared. You know, I was so scared of the Skeksis when I was a kid, and I think that that is that was the greatest thing for me about the Netflix series. Was I was like. I am a th- I am a thirty plus year old, and the Skeksis are just as scary to me now yes. as they were then. They're terrifying. Yeah, they're, they're terrifying. terrifying. I always think that Skeksis, like when you're trying to flirt with someone, you're like, "Ooh, do I look?" <laughs> okay, so Maude, you say that right, and I yeah. was like, "Next cosplay at Comic Con or Halloween fad has to be sexy, 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 sexy right?" Sexy, sexy. And I tweeted it yeah. out. With a That's photo kind of, you know, of someone know. that tried to be a sexy Skeksy. And it was the most hilarious thing I've ever tried to wrap my brain around. Oh, That's I amazing. No, I feel I feel powerful with that. It's kind of like a Kenku in a way, a weird, weird way, a D&D character. But yeah, if you can get it's a, you could nip people. Yeah, they're not fun. They're, they're really scary. Yeah. I still want to do, I've been promising this for years, but I still for Halloween have to do um oh my god what's his name edgar from men in black you know the one where he wears the skin and he asks for sugar oh Oh, yeah Yeah. i want to be him so bad i would would stay in character and it's like no funny thing about that Uh, fun fact there is a sexy skexies blog oh i don't know what they write about i would say i'm surprised but I'm definitely not surprised. Yeah, Sexy Skeksy is definitely, I feel like, needs to be someone's next Halloween costume or cosplay or something because it is hilarious. Uh, I've got a school song uh, about. Nathan says Maude did a sexy Jar Jar. I didn't know that. Not, not by choice. <laughs> oh, never do you that weren't before. intending to do that. No. Uh, Comic-Con 2015 for SourceFed, we did... Uh, we had to build our own cosplay, but we had to pick what we were cosplaying out of a hat. I had a human tantrum, an adult tantrum in that video because I picked out Jar Jar and I, I threw a fit. I couldn't believe that I had to do it. I bloody did it. I did it. <laughs> and I was, I was Jar Jar, a female Jar Jar, like 
bouncing around Comic Con, being like, Misa! <laughs> Oh no. So it was just your inherent sexiness. You weren't intentionally going for a sexy charger. No, I wore a skirt and like thigh high boots and maybe Nathan's a leg person, you know. <laughs> I called you out again, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny though. That well, is pretty I'll good. I'll show you those photos. I'll show, the, I'll, talk, I'll show you them in the power down. Yay, oh, huzzah. I have PTSD from that though. Oh, cause it was in public. And everyone's like, oh, that's brave. <laughs> like, and you're like, I'm being forced to do this. Yes. The only fourth here is the fourth against my will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good question time. <laughs> good questions, everybody. Um, and this wraps up this week's Power Up with the wonderful Emma Fife. Emma, again, can you tell people where they can find you, where they can get more of your uh, your wisdom on the internet? You can find me every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday hosting the download over at Then TV. Uh, if you want to watch on Twitch, since a lot of y'all are watching on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash watch then. Uh, you can also check out all of our VODs on our website, which is then.tv. If you missed any episodes, they're all there for your viewing pleasure. As for me, I can be found here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Emma Fife. Um, I'm still kind of working out reshuffling exactly what my streaming schedule is since my life changed in a big bad way. Um, in a big, you know, in, good I, way. Yeah, in a big good way. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, you know, give me a follow though. I'll be live again soon, hopefully sometime next week. I've also been dealing with um, a broken AC and the fact that it's like too hot for me to be at my streaming desk. It's been a saga, uh, but I'm also on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Emma Fife, uh, and I have a website which is emmafife.com. Emma Fife, all over the internet, wherever Emma Fifes are sold, you will find that Emma Fife being me. <laughs> Where's Fife from? You are the Scotland. Only uh -huh. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Emma. Thank you, yeah. Amy, as always, for joining us. And uh, Maud, I think that's the end of the show. It is, which means Power Down will be happening. We're going to record it after this. We'll be uploading it just for $10 and above on Geek Bomb's Patreon if you want to catch those episodes weekly. Also, big announcements are coming up for Fungents and Flagons as well, which I'm super pumped about. So now is the best time to check out Patreon. Um, but, yeah, we're going to shoot the shit after. Well, sorry. After it's okay. You can. Who shot shit and went, oh, that's what it's like to catch up with friends. <laughs> and out of what type of device? Yeah. Was it shot? I have, I have so many questions. I have questions. Anyway, that's our power down. So join us there. Thank you, Emma, so much for having. Uh, wait, we are so glad. That we <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Right. Thank you for being on your own show. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to take Emma yeah. and go shoot the poop now to record power down and then you can see that later <laughs> all right also huge thanks to soggy crowns and max doom for the follows thank you all so much for watching uh the next time i will be streaming is sunday morning at 10 a.m uh how about you guys anywhere you want people to check you out anytime soon I'm going to be starting Knights of the Old Republic. I just have to figure out which night to, I want to I do it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Maud said she's going to be streaming on Twitch. Yeah, what? I'm be guys, I know. Usually gaming is my thing that I don't want to share. It's yeah. my time. But I figure I'm going to leave console gaming to my time. But mm. I've got Knights of the Old Republic and I'm itching to get into it. Yay. I felt the same way, Maud. So I know I understand your hesitation. I was that way for a long time. And then I started playing like the games that normally I would love to just play by myself with my Twitch chat watching. And I was very surprised how much I enjoyed it. So yeah, I think fun. I I think you'll have a great time, honestly. I think anyone would want to tune into this. Because uh, <laughs> that's my you're, game. you're playing on the Geek Bomb Twitch account, right? I am. Yes, give us a follow. We are twitch.tv slash geekbomb. I haven't touched it in ages. We used to do stuff back in 2017. Oh, when I was 17, I drank some very good beer. Mod got a group <laughs> back, and I'm excited for it. All right, yeah. everybody. Thank you again so much for watching. You guys have been awesome sauce, and we will see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.